All right, so as you can see, there's the old Taco Bell. I hope it's open. It says it's supposed to, but I don't see anyone in there apart from the employees, so I might have to check the door. But as you can see, it does have a pretty old interior, which is exactly what I like to see. And right now, I have my bluey figurines, which I'm gonna just quickly get open right now. I think we'll just skip to the uh, restaurant. Okay, so I got the bluey figurines out, but thankfully the plastic wasn't as bad to wrangle out this time as before. But um, I'm gonna check the door to see if they're open and we're gonna get a little look inside. And I forgot what I was gonna say, but um, yeah, um, I guess we'll see if it's open. Not gonna lie, this is pretty lit if I must say so myself. Wow. I mean, I've been to quite a few Taco Bells in my life, but this one is something else. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I just realized, I think the Axel F theme is playing or something related to it, which kind of fits the theme. I'm pretty sure this is 90s, but it might actually be 80s. I'm not really an expert. I feel like I should be an expert on this type of stuff, but if it's 80s or 90s, let me know. But anyways, regardless of the age, it looks pretty cool. I mean, just look at this counter. This is like straight clean and for being like 30, 35 years old, this restaurant is actually in really good shape. But what's funny is that I actually came here a couple days ago when I was coming back from San Francisco and the workers, the workers in front were trying to tell me to use the drive-thru because they were closed and I just stood in front of the restaurant. And what's funny is that one of them was actually here and I got to talk to them. So thankfully we were able to clear up that a uh, little incident <laughs> where I stood in front of the restaurant, but thankfully they were cool with it. But unfortunately, they also said that this restaurant is actually getting renovated in about a month. So I'm very glad I was able to stop by here and document it before they changed it because it looks like as pretty as this place is, it's time is coming up. So in my opinion, that's very sad because as you can see, this place is just beautiful. This is like art but yeah it's very unfortunate but at least i'm gonna get some good video and pictures of it so maybe i'll use it as a background in my videos or i'll draw it out so i can immortalize it in my content <laughs> but we actually had a good chat he said that there's actually quite a few people who come here for the retro design which i mean just look at this place it's amazing i mean you don't see places like this anymore and Unfortunately, I also got wind that this place is running out of time because they said that they might remodel it in December, which is about a month from now or mid-December. So it looks like in a couple weeks, this place is going to be no more, which is very sad because as you can see, it's actually in really good shape. And in my opinion, this is probably the nicest prettiest Taco Bell I've ever been to so it's very sad that it's gonna be going away soon but um yeah overall my food's already here as you can see so I'm gonna get some bites to eat take some pictures and I guess say my final goodbyes to this wonderful piece of retro art am I crazy for going miles and miles to a 90s Taco Bell just to take pictures with tacos and my bluey figurines well um 
yeah, you know what? I am crazy, but this place isn't going to last forever and it's going to close down soon. So you only get to see a 90s Taco Bell a few times in your life and I'm going to take advantage of that. All right, well, I took a few pictures and videos. I mean, how could I not? But thankfully, it's actually pretty empty. We haven't been bothered by anyone. And, you know, that's the way I like it. I just like it all to myself, basically. But um, I'm getting a headache and I really need to eat something because I haven't ate all day. So I just got a very basic plain taco, but that's the way I like it. I guess this is an ASMR video now, too. I'm not sure if y'all wanted to actually see this, but even the bathroom is retro. Well, I mean, it would make sense. I mean, a 90s restaurant would have a 90s bathroom, but yeah, the color schemes on these restaurants is just S tier. I always love the color schemes. Gosh, these things are so sugary. I actually ordered a couple, but I enjoyed them so much. I even got more. I should really stop eating these, but um, yeah, I can't get over this place. It's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, these are going to be the last ones, I promise. All right, well, I had lots of fun here, and I got some amazing pictures and some surprisingly good food, even though I'm not the biggest fan of their food. But anyways, unfortunately... It is my time to go. I don't know if I'll ever see this place again before it gets remodeled. But for now, I think I'm contempt and I think I've documented this place well. And I'll let it live for eternity. But anyways, it's unfortunately my time to leave. And I don't think I'll be hitting any other stores today because, well, it's getting late and they really don't have anything anyways. But if I'm being honest... This was kind of the highlight of my trip anyway, so it didn't matter if I got anything good or not in stores because this was the best part right here. And man, when they do remodel this thing, I mean, I've only known this Taco Bell for a short time now, but I feel like it's like an old friend of mine or an old person I've known for years. And just like an old friend, it's going to be a sad day when it goes, but I suppose that's just how life is. All right, so it's actually been a couple weeks since I recorded that last part you just saw. As you can see, this is the exact same restaurant. Still got the original interior. But once again, it is a couple weeks from that last video. And supposedly, based on what the employees said, they're supposed to tear this place down on Monday, which is basically three days from now. So... I'm going to come in and I'm going to try and talk to the employees and see if I could have any of the furniture, such as the nice looking booths right there. And yeah, I did ask them last time, but even though it's been a couple weeks, I haven't gotten any responses or answers. So I'm just going to go in and see what they say. Once again, I assume they just forgot or something, but... Hopefully I can get some sort of answer and we'll cut to the part where I come back outside with the verdict. Alright, so it's been a good few minutes and so here's the verdict. So the bad news is that no, I'm not getting any equipment or booths. However, the good news is the reason why. So it's not like they were stringent and they said no or management can't do that. It's actually because they're not tearing this place down. Yeah, it's gonna stay up. Apparently there were like some issues with the development or the planning. But yeah, I'm not getting any equipment or anything for my setup or my house. But thankfully, this Taco Bell isn't gonna die. It's gonna stay around for a little longer. Now, I'm not sure how long it's going to stay around for because I think it's kind of inevitable that it's going to go soon, but it is going to live for at least I want to say a couple or a few more months, so that's really good to hear and therefore more people can enjoy it and 
honestly just seeing an old place like this still around is just so cool so yeah basically i'm not getting anything but that's because this place gets to live on so i would call that a good ending i suppose but anyways it's time for me to sign out and hopefully i'll see you soon so goodbye everyone <laughs>